What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another video. And today we're looking at this right here. This is my Maxpedition Remora. And this thing is badass. This is an EDC pouch and um, like EDC bag, I guess you could say. And it's a, their gear slinger. But it's like one of the, it's the smallest of the gear slinger series. And uh, this thing is just perfect for just packing your daily essentials in, taking for a hike, throwing in the fronts of your truck, just having everything that you need in this thing ready to go. And um, I did an unboxing on this on the channel a while back, and several of you dudes asked me to do a like a loadout video on like what I carry in this thing. And so I'm gonna do a loadout video and show y'all like everything I carry in this. And I have several EDC systems, but this is one of the primary ones that I is one of my heavy go-tos right here. And as you can see, I got one of the. Uh, this is one of the pads I put on it. It doesn't come with this. I actually put this Max Edition sh uh, padded strap right here. This is from the uh, Maxpedition uh, Versa Pack, and so I took this off of there and I put it on here, so it has more of that padding to it, which I really like, because it, like as much as stuff as I pack in here, it kind of hurt over time. So, but that pad on there, everything is good to go. So, if y'all are looking for an option to fix your remora and make it more comfortable, you can buy one of these separately off Maxpedition.com. And so we'll get right into the top part of this thing. I keep some uh, mechanics look, gloves in here. I live in Colorado, and I ride around on that electric unicycle thing all the damn time. And if I fall off of that thing, I'm going to end up skinning my knuckles up or anything like that. So I carry these, and I do wear these pretty much every day. So got these recently, and I love them. So these are just the Mechanics Original Gloves right here, in size medium. And so like, I have a pretty normal size hand, so if you were just wondering about size. And getting this out this is the gopro hero 5 session i record a lot of like the action videos that i do on my channel um riding the unicycle around doing everything like that like the outdoor shots everything is off this session and it has amazing audio it has awesome image uh stabilization and you can't go wrong with this little lightweight hand grip like that's why i chose this grip specifically to put in this bag because it's super lightweight and um, this whole little setup right here just weighs nothing, and you can and I can just slide it right in there, and so it's really cool. Um, getting into the back right here, I keep this. So this this is looks like a little laptop, like it looks like a little mini MacBook, but it's actually just a iPad. So this is the iPad Mini 4 with um, a keyboard on it. So like I absolutely hate sitting here messing around trying to like type on the damn thing. So I got the stylus and the keyboard right here and it's like a miniature computer. Like you can just, it's the coolest thing in the world. So you can just operate this thing, go on the keyboard and the keyboard connects via Bluetooth. So you just turn this thing on and it usually like, it usually will like work immediately. So if I just go on here and I'm just gonna go on Twitch and see if I can type in something real quick. See, see, I'm just typing just by doing like that, and then I can navigate just by clicking around with this. So it works out pretty good. It's a good little system, and it's like a little computer right here, and it'll fit right in my EDC bag, which is the coolest thing in the world. Because this bag isn't that big. There are more of people who complain about it being small, but you just have to pack your essentials and pack what you're going to need, and it's not going to be a problem. And another thing, thing in here that it takes up a lot of room, but it's worth it in the long run. Uh, this thing is, it's like a vest you wear. So like at nighttime, since it gets dark at like five o'clock now, and I'm literally, like I ride that unicycle thing that's on my channel, I ride that more than I drive now. So like, if I'm out and about on that thing at dark, I can flip this thing on. So like it glows, and then these bands actually light up. So check this out. So you can see that. So this these bands glow, like this bright, and it just looks like a fucking neon ambulance is coming down the road. And like, so if if an idiot like hits you, if well, I mean, it literally looks like a circus act or some shit going down the road at nighttime with you wearing this. So like, imagine it being completely dark, and this whole thing lighting up like that. And so like, I I put I started wearing this all the time. Like literally, if it gets dark out, I throw this thing on. And I'm good to go. Like if some if some idiot actually hit me up while I look like a fucking strobe light, they would have to be mentally something would something would be wrong. They would have to be impaired or something would have to be mentally wrong. So I keep this in there, and I do wear this pretty much every single night now. And th I'll, I'll put the link for this in the description. Like uh, I'm not sure the name of this, but I will find it for you because it's a cool product. And. What else in here? Oh, I keep my little med kit. So this is just, this little bag right here is from Topo Designs. I'll also link this in the description. Great company, awesome bags, cool products. So 
in here I keep all my medical stuff. I got gauze bandages, I got Tylenol in here, I got um, I got some tape, some medical tape right there, and then I got gloves right here, so if like I gotta bandage somebody else up, I don't have to get my hands all bloody and shit, so. Got some normal band-aids and all that stuff in there ready to go. So if I need to take it out of this pack, put it in another pack, I can do that just by having this little bag right here. And did I already go over this stuff? I think if if I didn't, it's just no, it's um some smelly cologne stuff. So like this is just like some outdoor like Juniper Ridge trail resin cologne and it's it, it stuff smells really good it's quite expensive for what it is things like 30 bucks for there but it smells like so like nature shit i don't know <laughs> it smells like some pine trees and stuff like it literally smells like you just got done like cutting down a forest or something but it's called the juniper ridge and i'll link that stuff too like this stuff is amazing it i, I love i love the way it smells it reminds, it reminds me of like going hiking or something and then i got like a fresh field notes pad in here this was from one of the packs that had like the grid paper and the line paper, so I got the uh, just the blank field notes ready to go in there. And keep a Snickers bar. This is the best fast energy there is. It says confused right there, isn't that great? Perfect. But this is honestly like this is better than a Red Bull for like just fast, quick burst energy. Keep keep that Snickers bar handy near, nearby. And then what else we got here? Oh, this is a cool case right here. So I got this. This is the stuff I don't want to get smushed. So I keep it in this hard um, Olight case. This is from like one of the $10 Olights I got. But checking this out, I keep some, first off, just some two band-aids on top right there in case I don't have my med kit. I got some burn gel in here. Some burn gel, some, some let's see, some ibuprofen and aspirin as well. If you could see both of those. And then in the bottom right here, so like as I set up this stuff, I don't want to get like smushed in there, or like like pop open, so I keep it in this case. Then I got some, um, this is like Neosporin, but it just came in like one of the med kits. And then I have my contacts in here. I keep, I have them both labeled. So I got the right and the left contact in here in case I forget my glasses or either I break my glasses, I can still use those. I, I don't wear contacts, I just usually wear my glasses. And then I keep two things of super glue in here. And so, like, this is all stuff I don't want to get, like, smushed or anything. You know what I mean? By putting, just having it, like, in one of those soft sacks or, like, one of, like, something like this. So, I keep it in this hard case so that everything doesn't, like, break open and go everywhere. So, that's why I do that. And then, getting into this middle compartment. So, this thing's pretty basic. You have the main compartment, you got this compartment, and then you have the small little compartment on the front right here along with your concealed carry compartment on the back right here so this is your concealed carry compartment so like uh, I, I, if you have the bag on like if you have the bag on like this like as you can see so this is what it looks like whenever i have the bag like across me like that like this so you draw it like this you draw like this and then reach into here and then you'd be able to pull your gun out and then you have to shoot so but i don't have it like honestly if i was going to conceal carry i'd probably set it up for the i just so i'd have to switch switch shoulders basically so i carry it across my left shoulder right now i'd have to put it on my right shoulder just so i could draw it and everything so but on the back right here in that compartment since i don't carry a firearm i carry some paper towels back here and then i also carry um some zip ties because you can't go wrong with zip ties. I got big zip ties and little zip ties, so I can <laughs> zip tie some shit together, man. Like you could fix anything with zip ties. I need to put some. I need to put some duct tape in here as well. Actually, I do have duct tape in here. What am I? What am I talking about? Who, 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 who would I be without some duct tape? I got, I got some. We'll get to that. Anyways, going to the front right here. First thing I will pull out is this. So I got the anchor charger right here. This is the. Um, I think it, this is like. 5,000 milliamps. Uh, what is this? I don't even know. I don't even know how many milliamps this is, but this is just one of those um, just iPhone chargers. And around this thing, around the top of it, so it would sit better in the bag, I put some um, some Gorilla Tape around it. So I got like, I think probably 15 feet or so of Gorilla Tape like wrapped around here, so that's good. And what else in here? I got and, and this little pocket right here in this like slot, I keep my Leatherman Wingman. 
some pliers right here. It's a good multi-tool. I like the fact that it has a spring action in it and it's only like 30 bucks for a multi-tool, which is pretty cool. And then I just got like a little bandana lanyard on there so I can pull it out of like the bag easier. And then I keep fire steel in there and then I can uh, use the, the back of like the file. It has a really good edge to strike the fire steel. And both of those fit really good in that pocket together, just like, just like that. And what else in here? I got some hand sanitizer. This stuff's good for its general purpose, plus starting fires. Like honestly, like whenever I go camping, take this out, squirt it on whatever it may be, and then throw some sparks at it, and it starts it up like quicker than it would just just by having the normal tender there. It's kind of like cheating, but it works well. But and then I keep the uh, microfiber cloth in here. This microfiber cloth gives a lot of use cleaning my glasses and cleaning the iPad and the Mac. And also I keep the O light in here. Like if this isn't on my person, then I just slide it in the front of this bag. This y'all have seen this probably before. Uh, the O light S S I think it's the S R, but yeah, the S ten R baton right here. Um, this thing's awesome. Like this is rechargeable light. I think it's almost 500 lumens. Like I think it's like 490 actually. But this thing's great. Has a good strobe mode on it. I think yeah, good little strobe mode and everything. So the O light, I love O light. I think that's an awesome light company. And, and it's magnetic so you can see like so if you got to work on something like if you got to like fix something under your car you can just like pop that that under the hood and then you can work on whatever you got to and you'll be able to see and so i use the magnet feature on this thing a lot i think that's an awesome awesome thing about this light and it also magnetizes to the charging stand as well so that's cool and i keep a charging chuck in here just a normal iphone charging chuck and then I keep uh, another, in case this charger dies, I got this backup charger right here. So like two is one, one is none. So like half the time, one of these will be dead, but the other one won't. So like I keep this one right here. This is just like one of those slim little credit card ones, which this will like charge an iPhone like halfway. And then this will charge it like completely full. So these aren't like the biggest chargers, but they're lightweight. So that's a good thing. I don't want that thing to be heavy. So they're lightweight. And like I said, if I just had one in here, it would be dead all the time. So that's why I keep two. And then in here, I keep some wet wipes. Got got um, two of these just ind individual package wet wipes right here. And then I get, got some lip balm and uh, one of these lighters. These are the best lighters. These are like the BX7 Bic lighters. They're slim, so they're a lot more slim and they fit in your packs better. And I think they just work better as well. So, and then I keep some, on this thing right here, keep some nail clippers, which I probably need to use those damn things. And um, this thing right here, so you can put a micro SD card in it, and then it's a USB drive, and then you can put it in your actual computer. And let's see, what else? In the front right here, I keep um, this expensive ass iPhone cable from Native Union, which I actually do like this thing a lot and it was worth it getting it in the long run because like I always fold it up and I keep it. I use it a lot, but I always fold it back up and everything just because it has this little leather keeper on here. It's always nice and neat, ready to go. So I like that cable. And then I have just a, a was it micro USB cable ready to go? And that's just in case because like I don't have anything really in here that I charge up other than the batteries on this cable. So and then right here i keep just some normal ipod ear pods ipods whatever the hell you want to call them and some chapstick and then a thumb drive right here which this thumb drive currently has windows 7 on it so i recently had to install it on my computer so that that always comes in handy having some type of thumb drive and have one that has like a lot of gigs to it i mean i was 64 you know 32 or something like that so which get one with a lot of gigabytes so the, like yeah that was 32 so it'll actually hold windows on it because it's i think windows is like what like i think it was like 12 gigs or whatever from windows so anyways dudes i think that's everything in my pack right there for sure there's nothing else in the bottom or anything so yeah i think it's a great bag right here i think honestly they did a hell of a good job on this thing and i think you could probably throw this thing off a cliff and drag it behind a truck and it wouldn't get messed up. You could, this thing has been through hell and back and I've crashed and slid across the ground with it. And it it holds up, holds up very well. Honestly, Maxpedition bags, they're the shit. I love Maxpedition products. Oh, and then one more thing on the front right here. 
slipped in this little pocket. So like this is another cool little pocket. Oh my god, dropping shit. My neighbors are gonna love that. Uh, it's like three in the morning. But anyways, and right here I got this little like lash cord. And say if I just want to quickly put my gloves on here, I can just like throw them under this lashing cord right here and then cinch that down and that's good to go. So that's one thing I really like. And then I keep this flashlight under here. So this is just the stream light. So if I need to like grab this quickly out of here to look in the bag for something, say if it's dark out and I need to look in the bag for something, I can use this or either I can grab it and just use that as my primary light for something quick. And I keep that right in the front right there because it, it, it clips on and grips pretty well and nothing's going to knock it off right there. So anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw the thumbs up and I'll see y'all in the